Okay, so these are some arc length parameterization. And the first thing we need to kind of look at, um, first of all, well, without even, I mean, you know, we can look at that if you want, I guess. But, okay, so here's, let's remember what this does. This describes a space curve over time, okay? And I don't know exactly what it looks like. Maybe it's something like this. But basically, this right here, this T, is a parameter, okay? So, and, and the parameter is time. So, I mean, this thing could go on forever, okay? So, if we want to parameterize this thing by its arc length, then what we're going to have to do is we're going to find out, you know, our point of interest, you know, from A to B. Say we want to find out how long it is right here, from A to B, okay? Well, right now, this thing is parameterized by R of T. If we reparameterize it by another variable, which is usually S, then S describes, you know, just from A to B, okay? And that's what we're going to get at. So it, it, if, if you didn't absorb this, don't worry, we're going to kind of go through it. But that's basically what we're going to do, okay? So, okay, so the first thing we got to do is really we need to find the uh, the length of this this curve, okay? And that's pretty easy to do. All we got to do is find the... Uh, well, take the magnitude of the velocity, right? Okay. Okay, so let's just do that. Let's let's find out the uh, velocity here. And that's uh, negative 4 sine t. I mean, we already know how to do this, so I'm not going to get crazy here. Okay. Maybe I'll put a little bar here so we don't mix it up. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is find the magnitude of velocity. And this is going to be 16 sine squared t plus 16 cosine squared of t plus 9. It'll all factor out. You'll get square root of 25, which is 5. Okay. Um, so now we're ready to go with our length. And they were interested from 0 to 2 pi, I think. Okay, and that's just going to be, you know, we, we do our fundamental theorem. Heck, I'll just go ahead and write it. That's going to be, what, 10 pi? Okay, no problem. Now here's what we're going to do. I want, I want to go back to this thing. Okay, let's say I was interested from here, from this point to this point. Well, our, our kind of, you know, generic representation of this, okay, if, if I start my measuring, then my length is zero right here. Okay, and my final length is going to be some. It's going to be some value of t, right? Okay, so so what we're going to do now is we're going to assume that this uh, length right here is measured from zero to t. Okay, so here's what we're going to do now. Now we're going to throw an s in here. I'm going to go ahead and say that s is equal to zero to t. See, we already know how long this is. It's ten pi units long. Okay, but now I'm going to integrate from 0 to t, okay, our same parameter. And let's see here, usually they use this towel thing, just, it's, it's, the only reason they usually put that in there is because we already use t, we always use s, so I guess I'll be proper and, you know, respect the math dudes. So, okay, so this is no problem, this is just 5 tau. And it's evaluated from t to 0, and that just comes out to 5t. Okay, you're probably thinking, all right, Chuck, no shit. Okay, well, here, here we go. Right here, we got s is equal to 5t. Well, now I can just say, well, t is equal to 5 over s, right? So what I can do is I'm just going to go back and I'm going to plug this into this equation right here, okay? I'm going to write it over here again. So, okay, so now we have R of 5 divided by S, okay? I'm going to let you just kind of home in on that while I write it down.
I kind of made it sloppy, but but basically, here's R of five over S. So look at this 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 uh, parameterization right here. Parameterized the length of this thing over time, and now it's just this whole thing. But this function right here, okay, and these are S's on the bottoms, not fives. I, um, so so our new parameter basically just describes this just little you know section of it right there. Okay, you see how I did that? So basically, we we just found, you know, we went we went through here. We found the length, okay, and that was 10 pi. That's easy to do. But the next thing we had to do is kind of give like an arbitrary representation of it. So we just call this length s, okay, and s, you know, the length, you know, we just kind of again goes from zero to some value of t, okay, that you know, and we just that we just kind of pull these out of a hat, you know, this being zero, this being some va value of t, okay? And then we went and basically we did the same thing as we did to find the length. We just wanted a kind of a generic way to say it, you know? So, you know, we, and we use this this tau variable. And then we just basically, we just solve for uh, t. And now we can, now we just plug our new uh, value that has you know s in it into our original uh, vector function because it, you know the, the, it's still the same curvature and everything. It's just a different you know we just want to re the parameter refers to this distance right here, whereas the original parameter was the whole thing. So I hope this helps. Um, maybe it's a little confusing. Um, you know I hope my handwriting didn't confuse anyone or anything like that, but. Um, if, if it did, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to make another video. Alright, thanks for watching.